Hello everyone. No, you're not seeing double. There are definitely two TVs in the picture. I've had these in storage for about 10 years um, and decided I'd um, pull them out today, have a play with them and basically assess them, see what the condition they're in on the inside and to see whether I can actually get one or both of them going with, min with minimal work. Um, yeah, so now these are about a, I think they're, I think the thing's about a 12 inch, 11 or 12 inch uh, sized picture tube. They're an AWA deep image. Um, and the model is, it's called the 46 series. The model is a P511. Standard AC mains set with the mains transformer using 6.3 volt valves all the way through. So this isn't some horrible series strung live chassis death trap for you to get in between and get yourself a decent belt off. Now I do believe that these are identical to the Australian model. Um, from what I've the sort of the pictures I've I've seen the odd, odd picture of these on Facebook and online and I believe these are the same, pretty much the same set outside and in. Um, but I stand to be corrected so if any any anyone who's worked on these things in, in Australia says, hey, that looks really familiar or Yes, it's the same, or no, it's not. Well, yeah, leave a comment in the uh, in the um, columns in the comment. In the, leave a comment on the, on the video. <laughs> Sorry, <coughs> the weather here at the moment is quite strange. Generally in May, it's quite. It's, it's actually generally in May, it's generally starting to get quite cool. But actually, it's warm today. It's actually quite muggy. It's about 19, 20 degrees, and we've got a. It's quite windy, but there is a bit of a storm moving across towards New Zealand, so no doubt we'll probably get whacked all that in the next couple of days, going by what the, going by what the, going by what the weather forecast has said, so we'll see if that amounts to anything. Um, but I will say that these are really jam-packed on the inside. And how do I know? I actually had one of these as a kid. I used it as a bedroom TV for about a couple of years, and um, I used to fiddle around with it and change valves and and you know and just just generally just just muck around as a kid. But one day it lost horizontal hold, and no matter what I could do, I couldn't get the hold to come right. No matter how many things I replaced or tweaked or changed, I mean I didn't really didn't really know what I was doing back then. Just sort of blindly changing parts, you know, as a ten year old kid would, and getting the old zap off a couple of things, as you do when you play with old TVs. And I think in the end I just pull, pulled it to pieces and just, yeah, chucked it out. It was like, God, it would have been, oh, yeah, about 30, 30, 30, 30 odd, no, about 35 years ago. Yeah, something like that. So just a couple of days. So, yeah, so what, what valve liner have we got here anyway before we, before we get into it? So mains comes in here. It's a couple of typical, typical blooming, just a, Couple of diodes for a doubler circuit. Put your power supply there. Um, so we've got a separate, a separate page for the tuner. Here we go. So the tuner, tuner consists of ECF86 mixer oscillator, ECC189 RF amplifier. So very nicely laid out circuits. And uh, yeah, quite like the fact I've got all the um, all the voltage the reference indicators and all the pin pinouts as well, so it makes it quite handy for when one is fault finding. And obviously it comes into here, IF out goes into the first IF, 6EH7, 6EJ7 second IF, um, that looks like video output, let's say video amplifier, 6KV8. Um, then, it, then, the, then the sound gets picked off, picked off there, and quadruple detector for the audio, 60W6 for the output. Uh, okay, let me move down, let me move down here, dum -de dum -de dum -de here, right, where's our, there's our AGC amplifier, 6BC6, sync separator, 6KV8, 6BM8, vertical oscillator. And then I guess the other half of that is probably for the um I guess the other half of that is the other vertical out, so frame output. And then, and then that gets picked off there, goes into the 
Bronze at a loss later. It's a 12 AU7 ECC 82, I think it is. Yes. Uh, 6M5 horizontal out. 6AX4 is the, the damper. 1X2 HF rectifier uh, EH2, rectifier for the EHT. Given about 11 kV. There you go, 11 LP4. So it's, a, it's about an 11 inch size um, cathode ray tube that these things run. Um, yeah, and again, nicely laid out. Service manual, printed circuit board layout. Nicely laid out. You can get it, you can measure all the pins, voltages, and things like that. So, yeah, pretty cool. Nice looking TVs too. I actually quite look at it. I actually quite like the look of these. They're nice looking sets. So the aim today is to see whether we can actually get these, get, get one or both of these running, or <laughs> might get neither of them going. So this is just a. Ah, oh, the camera's been bloody uh, Samsung Samsung A5s. This is the this is about the fifth attempt I've had to start this video. I get to about here, and then pretty much the. Damn, damn phone's camera won't focus. So just, oh yeah, how to pull it apart and adjusting things. Or is it a hold adjustment? <laughs> like that kinescope removal, moving the cathode ray tube. Um, I have heard that these are a bit of a nightmare TV. They, they well, when I, when I take the back off, you'll see how jam-packed these are on the inside. They certainly didn't leave any room inside these things. So they're not exactly, they're, they're, they're all right to work on, but I haven't seen inside one of these for about 20, 20, 25 years. So uh, yeah, this will be interesting to see, actually. <laughs> so, yes. Um, as you can see, this, this cabinet's quite all made of plastic. And generally what happens is they, the, the, these things, they give up a lot of heat. And generally, generally, these, generally the heat cracks all the, or the plastic grill. Um, yeah, that one's pretty rough. Well, this one, this one here's actually quite tidy. This one here's in, this one here's in better shape than the other one. It could be a case of making one out of two and just swapping all the cabinet parts over as well. I'll just turn these things, turn these things around. <clears throat> I have actually got several color sets, several color sets actually. Pies and thorns and Phillips K9s and things. I should actually do a video on one of those. But um, yeah, I don't know. I have, to, I have to be in the right headspace to do um, colour TVs. <clears throat> As you know, they're a wee bit more complicated than black and white. So here's the back. Look at that. Made in New Zealand. All your controls down there, vertical linearity, IFAGC height, top linearity, contrast, and or, or, no, sorry, horizontal, no, vertical hold. So, quite a few adjustments that you can access without having to pull the back off. And they're pretty much identical. I would say this one's been sitting in direct sunlight for the cabinet to do that. Obviously, UV's gotten at this, and this, and this one here, obviously, it's um. Yeah, hasn't seen as much sunlight as the other one. And yeah, typical. I've never, I've never seen, never seen one of these with these clips intact. They always seem to break off. I think I got these together. Uh, would have been a. That's right. I brought a. I think I brought. The, I did a video on a Philips S8 six or seven years ago. It's, it's. If you go back through my YouTube videos, you'll, you'll actually find it. And I think these, I think these came with it. I think he gave these to me for like. I think, I think I gave him another five dollars on top of the couple of bucks I paid for the S8. So he said, he said, just take them and do it like with them. So I did. I have got a third one at my workshop, tucked away in a box. Um, but I know that's got a shorted lopty. Um, it, I seem to, I think I did fire it up and, um, yeah, just no, no EHT. I could see the, um, EL36 getting rather, Rather hot and bothered, so yeah, yeah, so that one's got a shorted flyback. 
so yeah, um, weight wise, it's, yeah, it's quite easy to, you can pick them up with one hand, but you know, there's a, you know, there's actually a fair bit of weight there. You wouldn't want to, certainly wouldn't want to drop it on your foot. Mind you, if you dropped it, I, I guess the cabinet would bloody probably smash and fly to bits. Um, yeah, they've got the, got the telescopic antennas. Normally, 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 normally these actually pull out. And yes, that's me. That's what I look like, by the way. Thought it was probably time I showed my face. I need a haircut too. Um, that one's really loose as well. Hello. That one's really loose. And also, I can't really avoid the mirror as well because the mirrors, these sets are a lot smaller than some of the others. So I don't want my mugshot being in there on occasions. Oh, yeah, these, one, these ones here are okay. So these are all right. Um, right, so what have we got? What have we got here? Yeah. Rotary channel selector and on off volume and brightness. Now, I didn't even, didn't even clean them. Normally, I clean my sets, but no, nah, nah, didn't even bother cleaning them this time around. Okay, well, I'm, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the camera down and I'm going to take the backs off, off both of them, and um, we will resume. See you in a sec. Just before I remove the last screw, um, which are actually these quite neat little, little slotted circular nuts of some kind that just screw onto these threads. They're quite neat, actually. So, this is pretty much what the bottom of these look like. Yeah, amalgamated wireless Australia Limited by Allo Industries, Auckland, New Zealand. Guaranteed and distributed by Amalgamated Wireless Australasia, New Zealand Limited. And that one is missing its label. Right, so I'll take the last, last screw out. But we call it a slotted nut or a slotted cylindrical nut of some kind. Right, put those in the, in the tray, right, I'll just put this down for a second and I'll, uh, I will put these things up on there, right, so I wonder what we're going to have here, I wonder what delights we're going to find. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Forgot to um, take these ones out too out of here. make a mental note to oneself is when the recording time gets up to about 25 26 minutes so I'm gonna have to stop the recording and make a new one because otherwise it automatically starts a new one and then it splits the video file up which is pain especially if you want to merge them or move the video file to somewhere else all right let's see if I can get the see if I can get the back off these things without, without too much grief yeah, I might try the first one actually. Let's see if I can get the back of this thing. There we go. What's going on here? Oh, that, that's right. That's right. That, right. Those things plug on. Wow. It has been a long time since I've seen inside one of these. Wow, and it's still got, and it's got that same smell, that same smell that my one had all those years ago. Right, so that's, that's one. Now I'll take the other one to pieces. So that's one of them there, and this is the other one. Take that piece off under there. 
Oh, I can already see a nice green bulged bulge, one of those horrible green Dukon caps. Oh, we could be could be in for some fun here with these, I reckon. And here's the number, here's number two. With complimentary bits of with complimentary pieces of crappy old tape. <laughs> so maybe I can get away with not having to pick the camera up, but the problem is I can't actually see what I'm doing, <laughs> which is the problem. I can sort of see, but um I can't see the screen, I can't see what I'm actually filming, so apologies for the uh apologies for that. Alright. Oh, yeah, these. I've actually forgotten how how manky and flimsy these things are. I do recall the circuit board being a different colour. I could be wrong, I could be very wrong here. As you can see, not a lot of room inside there. And, um, you know, looking at that, it's actually, looking at that plastic, it's actually amazing that, 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 that the whole the plastic backs haven't all melted and all, all the plastic strips, all the plastic pieces haven't split and fallen inside. That looks a bit, that looks a bit dodgy. Wow. Man, this brings back memories. This really does. Even power transformer wedged right down inside there. But yeah, no, I'm sure. It's a pretty, pretty jam-packed TV. It doesn't look, doesn't, this doesn't look too bad. Oh, yuck, 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 yuck. Oh, yuck, yuck, yuck. Oh, oh, horrible. I don't even think I want to plug this one in actually. You probably got to have old pile of filter cabs going up and smoke. <laughs> Especially these things here. I've had these um these point double oh five sixes, I've actually had these crap out, even though they're a thousand volts or point oh four sevens. Phillips K9s use them. I've actually had them fail. So oh here's a repair here, someone's just tapped it on with a bit of wire. Oh god, you can imagine all the all the nineteen seventies and eighties repair bodges that were done on these things. But um, I guess for now it's just looking and assessing and see what I can do to get these running. That's the whole name of the game. And then I end up doing a full restoration on one. <laughs> yeah, not at the moment. I kind of sort of take a break after doing that Lotus TV. I'm sort of um, doing other things at the moment, but... Uh, Yes, certainly, uh, I'd certainly class him as a portable room heater. <laughs> There's your speaker there. Alright, that's that one. Let's drag the other one. Let's have a look at the other one. Let's see what this one's like. This one actually looks pretty much Will complete as well. Complete with 1970s dust or 80s dust, <laughs> depending on what 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 flavour you, you prefer. Oh, lovely! This one here looks looks about the same actually around the side here. Uh, yuck! Yuck! Yep, they'll be okay. Those, mm, don't know. Oh, I see. I see what somebody's done. That's from that. That. That's that's where that wire comes down. I've just repositioned that capacitor. Yeah. God, look at this. This. Oh man, this is. This is. Oh man. I'm not sure if I actually really want to try and restore one of these. Just so crammed. I suppose we would also check the um I wonder if I should check the 
check the uh, picture tubes. Hmm. Might be worth a shot. See if uh, they're any good. My one I had as a kid actually gave a really nice picture, but uh, that was yeah, thirty odd years ago. So a bit of age is uh, a bit of age is um, crept crept up on these things since then. Yeah, I've actually got a photo of it somewhere. Actually, one of my photo albums. I've got a photo of it. Actually, I took a photo of it somewhere. I wonder if I can find it. But, um, yeah, crusty dust. Oh man, these, these are gonna these are gonna really smell too when I when when I when I, when I get them going. All the crusty old dust and everything burning off the valves. Yahoo, love it. All right. I will do. I'm gonna push this one over here. Yep. Just one second. I will. Jeez. Just uh, do this. A little bit of light on, light on the things. Um, right. We'll just loosen the. Uh, Loosen that off or something. Mm, let me see what I think it's, is it one or two that I think it's one or two that loosens that off. I think it's two, there's actually two of them there. No, there is actually two on there. Um, get, a, get a high quality crusty old adjustable crescent, because that's what we do here. Uh, that might actually have a nut driver for that actually. Ah, that one there was easy enough to get off. So that one there, that one there was easy enough to get off. But this other little one, I don't have a nut driver small enough for that. Nope. To use that in my fingers so to loosen this off. Why is it? You can never, why is it? It turns okay with, you can never quite undo it with your fingers. There we go. Shake that over there, do that over there. And then from memory, I think that should just open up. Oh, no, it's been a while since I've done this. There we go. Ah, look at that. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Ugh. Far out. Looks fairly original on there. Mostly original. These freaking horrible old things down in here. Yeah, sort of recognizing recognizing a few of these components from the pies. I'll have to check check these carbon comp resistors. Um, these um these um red um what brand are they? I think they're called um what brand are those caps? Uh, Lemco ones. They seem to be okay. I've never actually had those actually give much problems. These Lemco ones they seem to be okay. But, um. As you can see, there we are. fuse one amp, press to release. Well, does the mains fuse belong? Let's have a look. Uh, sorry about this, guys. For my fingers and things. I'm actually, I'm not actually, I'm not looking, I'm not looking through the through the lens of the camera. I'm actually looking over it. So sorry about that. But no, those those fuses, those fuses actually look to be fine. It will look okay. See, this is where the yeah, there's, your, there's, the, there's obviously the high, the high voltage section, and that's where the good old donut style roller lot D lives. Down in there. Wonder if that's any good. Well, I can see the first problem with this here. Just found, well, that's 
problem number one. The old 36 has gone to air. All that go to my my well well my well stocked second hand container full of valves and I'll I'll find another one, put it in. In fact that's probably actually what in fact that's probably what stopped us from going. This one this one actually might work. You never know. Down here. <laughs> little wee incy bincy little tiny little incy bincy little beady apple transformer audio one. It's quite cute. I wonder how, I wonder how often they went open. Yeah, alright, that's pretty much that there. Oh like oh, something something's happened here. I think that um Oh, I see. It's actually, it's actually, it's actually come. It's actually come out. It's meant to sit in there. And think, that's fine. It doesn't matter. It means the ease of the serviceability is a bit better anyway. So, all right. I actually might just pause the video here, and I will um, put the other one in shot, and I'll get out the um, get out my uh, picture tube tester and hook that up and see what the tube is like. Back in a sec.